so final video review for this week is for Not Today by Arizona Tape. Um, for any, any of you that didn't see the introduction video last week, you can still check that out. It's still available on my YouTube channel um, or on my pages um, and my blog. But this is what the book looks like, just to give you a little idea. Um, and this is the video review. Uh, if you want to check out my Goodreads review, I did just post that the other day as well. Um, so if you're on YouTube, there is a link in the description below. And if you are on Facebook or on my blog, then there is a link within the post. So I hope you go and check that out. And like I say, this is a video review for Not Today by Arizona Tape. So this was really fun and it was really cheeky. Um, when I bought this book last year, um, having met Arizona at the South Coast Lesbic Hangout, I really thought it looked intriguing, I guess, because Not Today, it, as a title, sort of alludes to could be anything couldn't it like and so I was really really excited to check this out and I really got something that was really fun and cheeky um but it's basically a story about Harper who she's going to college in a new town she's trying to start over she's trying to have a fresh start of life and she meets Nix at Rainbow Central um which is a club and they instantly sort of have a bit of a connection and Harper she's she's trying not to be the same person that she was before she hopes a new location and a fresh start will give her a chance to try um, and be different and try and let go of who she was um, so she's hoping it will really be a key uh, but upon meeting Nyx she kind of f is finding old habits hard to break um, likewise Nyx is also kind of struggling she's very set in her ways she just does casual she has a really fun free easy life and Harper is making her question if perhaps that isn't the right way to to have to have love to be um, like that and, and and if she wants a shot at something serious if she wants a shot at something like love and relationships maybe she maybe she has to do something different i guess um so with a little bit of drama along the way because it can't just be their feelings um harper and nicks they kind of have a little bit of an adventure dare to fall in love with one another and have a lot of fun whilst doing it as well as i yeah i would call it all fun but there's some consequences and some drama and some angst so um it was a lot of fun, like I say, reading the story. It was quite simple, yet it had a few complications in it, but it made it really easy to read, like because it was such a simple story, um, in terms of it was Harper, it was Nix, it was them trying to better themselves as people to to act differently. Um, it really was quite easy to read, so it I sort of breezed through it um with with the ability to just be able to enjoy without having to work out too much stuff and um, so I loved how you could just sort of get lost in um, the fun that Harper and Nick's were having and then meeting all these different personalities in their club as well and um, it just it just added to the whole atmosphere of like the story um, but the story was an interesting one because Harper and Nick's they really were opposites you know um, and they they really attracted to each other the typical opposites attract sort of thing and um, <sighs> Harper she just doesn't do casual relationships she's very serious and um it was quite quite relatable in a way because I suppose if you if you take your feelings seriously Harper really does take her feelings quite seriously um she's she's all in whereas uh she's she's sort of not on the whole working out and compromising things she's she's all in that's it um but she is trying with with Nix to work out and compromise away for them to both sort of feel comfortable because they're really um, deliberating with each other's feelings as well as their own the whole way through this because Nix, she she does do casual. It's it's a total thing. It's her prerogative. And um, so, you know, you really have got that, that whole clash, I suppose, of one's really serious, one's really casual. And there has to be compromise there's going to have to be they can't change that much you can't just suddenly turn your feelings off and you can't just suddenly get feelings if you don't necessarily indulge yourself in them and you hide them and delve don't really delve into them within yourself so um they're also dealing with their past you know what i mean the harper's trying to lose hers and, and, and nix is trying to just ignore hers a little bit um and her family but they really have a lot going on and both together and individually there's just there is so much for them to to work on um but it was really interesting as a story and, it, and as previously mentioned really fun as well um that that fun element took over from the too much of the seriousness and it was it was just an easy going romance with a touch of drama just 
something to experience really and I enjoyed it and I hope there'll be more to come from Harper and Nix as well because I think they have some crazy adventures in their life <laughs> um, that they really should share with us because they'd be fun. Um, they were a lot of fun to meet in this story, they were a lot of fun to get to know and I think they have a lot of fun friends and personalities going on around them as well which would also be great in other stories um so i think there is more to come from them in future hopefully um so i really enjoyed it i'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of not today by arizona tape um if you've read not today please let me know what you thought of it how did you find this story um and if you haven't read it yet but it's on your to read list or you're planning to read it um or you're now really really interested in reading it um again it'd be great to hear from you so please comment below because it's always great to hear what you're interested in reading and if you do read it i really hope you have a lot of fun Bye.